And we are in the studio with Not Jason on Guys Talk Knives. This is Savannah, a.k.a. Swags. That's How's it I, going? That's what I call it. <laughs> That's hilarious. So Savannah and I, or Swags, as we like to call her, she and I have worked together a couple of times outside of this place. And every time that I I, sub, I tell her that I have worked at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, she gets that look of a dazed look at first, but then all of a sudden she gets this fascinated. What is it that goes on at at Smoky? Right? Well, yeah. I mean, you brought katanas the first time. That really had my interest. This is true. I had katana swords. That does happen. Exciting. It was exciting, right? <laughs> and so I decided, you know, we don't normally have people on here who are not knife experts, not people who are just in general uh, inexperienced with knives or not knife. You don't carry a knife at all, do you? No, not at all. No. And so one of the things that I wanted to do is have somebody in that is not experienced with knife, has never carried knives, and maybe challenge them to do something new with a knife that they've never done before. But, you know, before we get into that, we walked around the store. Have you ever been here before? Um, like once. Once? And that was not enough time to cover this entire store. Right. Oh, my so, gosh. So what was it like? 108,000 square feet. What did you think as we took our little tour? There's an elephant. Did you see that? There's an <laughs> elephant in there. <laughs> yeah. A whole elephant. Yes. There I is. mean, not the body, just like the head, but like, <laughs> that thing was huge. Yeah. Yeah. There is. There's an elephant. There's a zebra. We got the big five on the wall. They're everywhere. Oh, I didn't see a zebra. You have to show me that later. Yeah. I think there's a but zebra the knives, somewhere. Those are really cool. Like the iridescent ones were super cool. Yeah, you're right. And we, she loved the knife cave. I like pretty she, stuff. She liked all that fantasy and sword katana craziness that I was mean, going on. I mean, who wouldn't? Someone breaks into your house. Yeah. Oh, you have a knife. Well, I have a jabber. So Swags is going to go full ninja on something. Oh, yeah. I mean, I she don't like have to know double. this stuff. As long as I like pull it out correctly, like we're good. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I could really extend my arms to pull it out but i'd give it my best shot nice so when we talked about this i wanted i wanted to have you pick out a knife and so i sent you a whole bunch of links right yes i did and i said you you pick out any one that you want what knife did you pick out what color was it it was blue it was blue so she actually picked out a kershaw leak which i find just hilarious because and i and i don't find this to be a bad knife this i carried a leak for a very long time i carried a chive for a very long time mm -hmm. um but every time we talk to a woman on this show they have a leak we've had a purple leak we've had a red leak uh we've had a now we have a blue leak we, we, exactly <laughs> we've had a, we've had a full-on uh, the iridescent rainbow one that melina carries mm -hmm. uh if and has for years now we have a blue one so what was it about this knife that you liked um so firstly it uh matches my hair because my hair is blue secondly because it's so like thin right it looked like it'd be a lot easier for me to um you know put that in different places because obviously being a girl i wear you have girl pockets yeah <laughs> so so what's girl the pockets are fake <laughs> <laughs> how do you mean what do you mean girl pockets are like this big like man pockets are like this big you you get a solid pocket uh -huh. female pockets like the designers are like Psh. They so they do short. We don't carry wallets or anything. So they short you on your pockets. They, I see that's why you have your keys lot. all hanging on your belt right there. I also have a lot of um, yeah extra stuff on my keys. It's just not going to fit in anything. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right though. This the the leak is a very sleek, slim design, and I know that uh, this is a, an assisted opening knife, and so it's going to do this fun thing up here like that as we hit the flipper. Um, the Kershaw leak was actually designed by Ken Onion. Um, it was among the very first. Speed safe assist open knives. It really revolutionized the market. There are like a million different versions of this leak, and they, we still sell out of them all the time. Um, we can't keep them in stock. This is a blue aluminum handle version of this knife. Uh, it's a Sandvik steel. Not that that really means anything to you at this point, but I just want to tell Not people yet. what it is. <laughs> uh, this knife um, has a modified drop point, and it almost comes out to be like a Warncliffe, which is going to give it really nice cutting power. Not that you need any really nice cutting power on this thing. Three inch blade, four inches closed. It's just a really good little sweet pocket knife with a pocket clip that you can put in your pocket. Now, you asked me a question before we started this. You said, what is assisted opening? Do you remember yes. what I told you assisted opening was? You said it was like... like it. You got to okay. eat that microphone so we can really okay. hear you. You said it was where like... It had like help coming open, right? Yeah. So it's got a spring inside of there. And the yeah. spring, believe it or not, and this is going to be hard to grasp 
But the OMG, spr- the sp- lay it on me. The spring, <laughs> the spring doesn't spring it open. The spring. Well, then what does the spring do? Keeps it closed. So what you're that doing? Sound like a I know this opening. is insane. That like a cystic this is insane, right? But when Ken Onion designed this, he designed this based around a part on his Harley Davidson motorcycle, and that spring literally keeps the detente closed. It has a want to be closed, but as soon as you touch this flipper and you move this. It moves the spring to a position. And it wants to be it open. It wants to be open. Oh my gosh. So the spring actually works both ways. So show me how you do it again. Nice. Awesome. It's a liner lock. And I know we, we looked at this a little bit and you've played with this a little bit. Yep. I almost cut myself a couple of times. Yeah. I'm you might have shaved a nail. It's just <laughs> something small. I don't need nails. I have, you can buy those at the store. Nice. <laughs> uh, so that's the knife. I mean, that is the whole You got bit. a thumbprint on here. I did. I'm sorry that I put a <laughs> thumbprint on your knife. Just call me Jason. <laughs> Jeez. Um, here's what I want to do with this knife, though. Not stab you, first of all. <laughs> what I want to do, anyway. <laughs> do is let you have this knife, Ooh. and I want you to carry it for a week. I want you to play with it. I want you to have fun with it. Uh, I want you to use it for a week, and then I want you to come back. And tell us how All it was. All the cool things that I cut with it. I want you to tell us about what it's like to carry a knife for the first time. You've never carried a knife? I think there's a lot of us, especially who watch this show, a lot of us are jaded. And a lot of us have carried knives for a very long time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have my Kershaw in my pocket right now. And it's the dividend that I got to make. And, um, mine's prettier. Yours is prettier. I know, right? But I got to make this one, so. Well, mine's still prettier. Well, then. <laughs> mine's black. I love it because I got to make it. But I, you know, I carry my knife all the time. And we're used to carrying them. We know what mm-hmm. we do with them. But somebody that doesn't do that on a regular basis, I, I want to hear from them. Because I think there are a lot of people out there that don't know the joy of carrying a knife every day. Yeah. Are you down for that? I am down for that. I know normally I haven't really... I guess, thought that I would have any reason to carry it. So having uh, one on me. You're going to find that the more you carry it, the more you realize how much you need it. That's what I've been told. Nice. And then you're also going to notice that when you don't remember to put it into your pocket or wherever else you're going to carry it, that, uh, uh, you know, you're going to feel naked without it. Oh, is this a safety? It is the safety. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to need that. Yeah. So why would you need a safety? I don't know. I mean, like, what if it just sprung open and like stabbed me? <laughs> that doesn't make me want to carry it in my, you, in my pocket at all. I think you should show us where you told us that you were going to carry it. We're right here. It's a perfect little spot for girls. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, it's cold, but it'll get warm. <laughs> I can just see when you go, anybody got a knife and you like, dig it oh, and yeah, go, just, I got it right I here. The dig for and then you just right here, whip bam. it out and pow, it's yeah. ready to go. That's it's like, great. It's more like convenient than a lighter leash. That's great. So, <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn you loose with that knife. I'm going to invite you to come back in one week. And so next time that you see us, you will have had this knife for a week and you get to report all about it. I get to report? You do. I'm excited. We get to get a, <laughs> we get a swags report on the Kershaw League. Yes. The Teal Blue League. Yes. Guys, this has been a special segment of Guys Talk Knives with Swags and Andy. We'll catch you next time. See ya. <laughs>